If you want to use your C++ delegates in Blueprint and want to trigger Blueprint events, then there are a few things to consider. First, you have to declare your delegate as a dynamic delegate. Here's a video in which I talk about the creation of delegates in detail. Today, we look at dynamic multicast delegates. So let's say we have this delegate with one parameter. When you declare your variable for this delegate type, you have to use a blueprint assignable. If you want to assign a blueprint event to this delegate, and Blueprint callable if you want to be able to trigger this delegate from within Blueprint. Now let's have a look in Blueprint. With Blueprint assignable, we can search for the name of our delegate and bind a custom event to it. In C++, you can bind a function to a dynamic multicast delegate by calling the addDynamic function and provide the object on which to call a function on and then the pointer to the function that should be called by this delegate. And through Blueprint Callable, we are also able to trigger the delegate like this. In C++, you are able to trigger dynamic multicast delegates through the broadcast call. That will trigger all functions that are subscribed to this delegate. If you want to unbind a Blueprint event from a delegate, you can either call unbind from and provide the event that you want to unbind or unbind all events from, which obviously will unbind all events currently bound to this delegate. The last thing I want to show you today is that you can also add the U property specifier blueprint authority only to your delegate. This can help you to implement functionality in blueprints that should only be executed on the authoritative instance of the game. So the server, but not the clients. Since, as the description to this property says, in Blueprints, it will only accept events tagged with Blueprint authority only. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.